Hello friends, welcome to the Fricadas Varias channel. With this video I'm trying to make some kind of update on how the casting for my short film about Star Wars is going. As you may know, I'm trying to make a fun film based on the Star Wars universe called The Hand of Fate and I'm making right now a casting worldwide though most of the people who are applicating come from Australia and United Kingdom. Some come from the USA. They are mostly people whose mother language is English. Well, you know, this short film is made in English, so it's logical. I have received some applications from other countries like Germany, Nigeria, places that you may think, oh, how exotic. <laughs> well, depending on where you live. But well, I like to have people from all over the world. First thing I want to say is I'm happy with how it's going because there are a lot of people who want to appear in the movie and that's always great because it will let me have good voices for the film. That was the goal when I launched this proposition, this project. As you can see right now, I'm talking with my real voice. In other videos I've used robotic voices from the internet, you know, you enter in a web page, you write what you want to say and someone says it for you. Yes, because I thought this way you would understand better what I tried to say, but well, I said, why don't I speak with my own voice? So that's me, that's the real me. I published it, this project, this casting, in at least three platforms. Star Now, Fame Street and Mandy. Mandy is mostly for US people, I think. I found that Star Now is mostly for people from Australia and UK, at least. These are the places where they write me the most. And um, Fame Street, I don't know for who is. The thing is, I don't know if I have received anything coming from Fame Street because uh, they don't apply it directly on the page. I suppose they send me an email and most of the people don't even tell me where they're from, where they have seen the casting, in what page, uh, things like that. So I don't know where did they see or where did they know about the casting? I would like to know because I like to make some statistics, but well, you know, my life doesn't depend on that, I think. <laughs> my last uh, application record in Star Now web was 202 with another casting that I made for a music video. And with this casting for Star Wars, up to now I have received 200 and 36 applications. There are many people knowing that, that well, it's a collaboration, it's an unpaid project. Well, I'm happy with that. Uh, Mandy Web, I have received 44 applications. Though I have to say, as you may imagine, uh, most of those people at the end don't send me a file with their voices. So, you know, there are many people who see the casting less people that apply to the casting and even less people that send you an email with the file that's normal it's some kind of pyramid up to now I have received voice files from 68 people that's a record too comparing with my previous castings though my previous castings were related to video projects i mean people had to send videos of themselves recorded by themselves, by their own means. This time I'm asking for voices, as you may know. I think somehow it is easier to record your voice than record a video of yourself. You have to prepare less. Anyway, I'm happy having 68 people up to now. I suppose I will receive more until deadline. It will make me <laughs> harder the decision to choose who will, who will be the voices will appear in the movie. Now, here I'm showing you some statistics of the files I have received for each of the characters who will appear in the short film. 
as you can see there is the Vesping worker number one that only has eight files received there are six men and two women women or girls as you prefer to call it female characters okay the funny thing is uh, Vesping worker number one is a male character but as i said and as you can see i have received two files coming from female uh, well i think at the end i will choose a male to act as a male character i think is a logical decision but well if you want to participate that wasn't the original idea but who knows and uh, you know there are movies will have appear women acting uh, like men like male roles so who am i to tell you you can do it the same thing occurs with facilities director as you can see there are 22 applications where three of them are male and 19 are female well maybe i'll choose a man to act as a female alien? I don't know, maybe. <laughs> well, you can see the at commander is the most successful character if it depends on the number of files received. I have received 29 files for that character that may be male or female. So there are 12 female actresses and 17 male actors. This may help you if you haven't decided uh, with which character you want to participate and uh, maybe you can choose to send a file for those characters that have less participation so you have more chances or oh, well if I were you just yes, I would say those characters there there are like the most you know, those that I really wanted to to be in the movie one thing I have realized is in some communication or messages I have sent to some of you I forgot to include the deadline date so if you didn't know it's July 15th so you have two weeks to send your files I think it's time enough if you haven't done it yet and you wanna appear in the movie well hurry up talking about the files I have received I must say, uh, I thought for Darth Vader it would be harder to get a good voice because at the end it's the only voice we all know because it's the only character of the short film that already appears in a Star Wars movie, it's an official character we may say. Uh, but I must say I have received very good voices for that character, I'm really surprised. I'm happy to come with such good voices. And another thing I wanted to say is related to the glasses guy. Maybe because I gave him this name, this funny name, people may think his voice must be funny. <laughs> I, I say that because I have received many voices for this character that sound a little funny. Well, I have had fun listening to that and maybe I will choose one of these voices, but I think it all comes from the name I gave him. Maybe you thought it was, a, you know, a fun character. And the real thing is it's some kind of a spy who wears an electronic glasses. So there's nothing strange about this character. It's true that I haven't given you many, many clues about how each character is, his appearance, how it is, and what he does, it's true. And even the script I have sent to you is in an altered order, so it makes it harder for you to know how to say the words. But well, it's the same for all of you, so now it, it would be unfair if I told someone who asked me for more things about a character because this person would have more information than, than others. I suppose I've made a mistake doing that, but well, that's how I did and now it's done, so what can I do? <laughs> Remember, as I've said in some messages, uh, there will be a making of video. I would like to include some takes of you, maybe recording your voice or talking about what you like of Star Wars, 
or talking about who you are, what you do, whatever. But remember, if you send me a video, it has to be short because I don't know how many videos I will receive. By now I haven't received many, but I have some, some short, some longer, but you know, there must be a space for, for everyone who sends his video or her video. So think about it. If you didn't know, well, now you know you have the chance to let all the people in the universe know about you. And that's all by now. I don't know if there will be another video talking about the casting because uh, July 15th, so only two weeks. But well, I guess when, when casting ends, I will upload another video. Maybe there I will say the names of the people chosen. Maybe not. I don't know how I will do it. I will also say the deadline to send your videos if you want to appear in the making of. And that's all right now. You know, if you want to participate in the short film, you have time and I will happy to receive your files. So thanks to all of you and may the force be with you. Hasta la vista.